Hello and welcome to SGS Battlebook Way. This tutorial will aim to teach you about supply. Now, supply is one of the most crucial aspects of the game, especially for the communist player. Supply is provided over a distance of five regions, as you can see here, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. Now, this is five regions. The reason for the short distance is to simulate the need to keep the supply lines open between small units and the rear. Each side has a logistical counter which can act as relays between sources and units, extending the length of these lines by a factor of two. So the free world and the communists will have a number of these supply units. So as you can see here we have the supply porters, these are our logistical counters. As we move them they extend our supply range. So we have five, these will extend by two, so they are very important in keeping your forces in supply throughout the battle here. Many structures can also act as relays, so as we capture structures over here, they will be able to act as relays for pushing forward the logistics here for both sides. The communist player has occasional supply sources to the south and to the east, as you can see over here. And if I go ahead and press on the UI, the supply filter, you can see that we're currently being supplied from the valley over here, as well as from La Chu. I'm probably mispronunciating that, apologies. And in the south, we have a supply source over here and over here as well. So, however, from the 3rd to the 10th turn, these sources will progressively die out. This is random, the frequency will never be the same from one game to the next. In other words, they will have been exhausted. The only way to alleviate the problem is for the communist player to establish viable supply lines between his bases in the west, heading east. So as you can see over this way as well. Thanks to the supply depots he will receive, relatively numerous at the start of the game, then increasingly random. Thank you and goodbye.